friends today I'm going to be making some um, refried bean dip and I'm going to be doing it out of pinto beans I'm going to make it make it and this is everything that I'm going to be using because I'm going to make some some ground beef like uh, meat to go on top of the refried beans and then you're going to need some tortillas you're going to need some corn tortillas because I'm going to fry these and you're going to need seasoning and my cheese and my um, sour cream is off in the refrigerator. Um, you're going to need onion chives to go on top of it and your ground beef. So let's get started. I'm going to pull, I'm going to wash my hands and pull the juice off of um, my refried bean. So I'm going to get started with that. First, I'm going to put some oil off in my pan. Because you don't want the refried beans to get, get um, you don't want to burn. So I'm going to turn this on, I'm going to turn it on six, and then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to cook my ground beef. Okay, I'm going to wash my hands real quick because I don't like the way the ground beef make my fingers feel. So, I'm going to wash my hands. Okay, my oil is off in my pan. And it, as you can see, it's, it's cooking. So, basically, I'm going to just put my refried beans off in there. I mean, my beans off in there. And you can use any um, kind of pinto beans to cook this. We choose that because it was a bigger uh, can, right? Yeah. And it's a lot of y'all. This is only four of us. All y'all is greedy. Okay. And so, I'm going to season it. I'm going to start by seasoning it. I think you got the wrong one. Good thing I looked. <laughs> so I just used some garlic salt and some seasoning salt. So basically, I'm just going to start smushing it. And this might take a while. Just be patient. Because you want to definitely get it like refried beans. Plain and putty. This is how it looks so far. And basically, like, the only thing you're going to keep doing is just mash it. And you want to taste it to see if it has enough seasoning. Because you don't want it to taste plain. That is a lot faster, and it looks a lot better. Oh, so pretty. And this is an easy, this really an easy recipe that you can do. You can make, make like a bean dill, you know, with it. Okay, I'm finished mashing them. Just focus on my meat. I don't already um, start cooking it, so it's going to look good. I'm going to drain all the grease off of here because I don't want no grease off in here. So I'm going to drain all the grease off. You know what I just noticed? What? You cook the meat a lot faster than I do. Is it because I'm learning or something? Huh? Is it because I'm learning or something? No, because you're just slow. Okay, I'm oh, moving wow. this off because my beans is ready. I just put it I just put it back on. 
Oh. I just put it back on the eye to warm up when I finish the meat. And the um, chips. Okay, my meat is ready. So I'm just going to drain the, um, the grease off of here and then I'll be back. Okay, so now I'm going to put some of my sauce off of here. And I'm using um, the red enchilada sauce. Just to get my meat to uh, um, taste of some flavor. Wait, where's this going? And some diced um, tomato with green chili. And I'm going to add some of this off in. I wonder if that tastes good. Yeah, it tastes good. Maybe you need to put some off in your enchiladas next time. On top of it? No, I like um, fresh tomatoes. Fresh tomatoes? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anything? So I'm going to add the rest of my chili tomatoes and then I'm going to season my meat. My fingers in a way. <laughs> Whoops. I'm gonna add a little bit more sauce off in here. Just a tad bit more. And while this is cooking down, I'm gonna show y'all how I make the, the chips for. That's a new off. kind, isn't it? Yep. I'm gonna start off with the red ones. And basically, you're just gonna get them and cut them in four, like triangles. Okay, so now since you got them cut off in triangle, Bingo. you're basically going to put it off in here, just lay them flat. I'm using my deep fryer. You can cook this off on a um, stove too. It don't make no difference. Will those cook fast? Yeah. Cool. And you just basically just drop them off in there. They kind of look like cheesy burritos. <laughs> well, yeah. And then the white, the yellow ones kind of look like potato chips. Something like that. Okay, I'm just going to get my I'm just going to get my Texas what's the name? And I'm just going to be flipping these over. I hope y'all can see this if my hand is not Oh my red. god, it's like really red. Okay, who put taki sauce on it? <laughs> I think you can add. I want to say I can add some on here, but. He's better with no season. But this purpose, you won't be bad at no season. It's going to taste just fine. I'm going to put some, um. Take the towel off in there because I don't want the grease to soak up off in there. So, just gonna take it, fold it, and just place it off in there. And you know, if you don't eat all of this, you can like put it off in a Ziploc bag and you can just save take it, it for to school. Like, <laughs> save it like for the next day, like when your kids get out of school. Because mine's like to eat when they get out of school. So. No, take it to school. <laughs> so basically this this is how it's gonna look after you finish cooking. That is so red. So freaky at the same time. And they just like corn corn tortillas. Corn chips. The one you buy in the store, but cheaper. Way too cool. Okay, so I'm just going to do it again. I'm going to place my basket down. 
and just start dropping them off in. Okay, I'm just going to start turning these over. And they don't cook that long, so be careful. Make sure you keep your eye out on it. Make sure you don't let train do it. No, you, this is easy. You can cook this. So I'm just going to add me some. You Hello. Don't want some My meat is ready, so I'm just going to move it off the eye because I don't want it to keep cooking. And I'm going to concentrate on my corn tortillas. Okay, this is how it looks. I'm just going to drop it down so I can get a little bit more crispy. But this is how the ones look after I finish cooking it. Look nice. The red one tastes really good. It's pretty. Nice. Makes it colorful. We should have some green ones like this. Green eggs and ham. Mm. <laughs> okay, so I'm just taking these out because these are ready. And like I said, this does not take no time at all on cooking. And if you want them crispier, you can just leave them off in there for a little bit longer. I just leave it off in there for like 10, 15, not even 15 minutes. Because like as soon as you put it down, it's just sort of coming right off the bat. One was fighting you, huh? And you can be able, you'll be able to tell when it's done because... You know, it's not hard to tell when it's done. So you just base it on, you know, the way you see it. Okay, I'm going to wash my onion chives out right quick. Okay, I'm going to cut the tip of them out because I'm not going to use this. I love my counter because it has so much space. I love my stomach because it has so much space. <laughs> okay, so my onion chives are cut. I'm going to move this out the way. Okay, so I'm just going to get started by putting my, my beans up in the center. And then I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to add just my meat. You can add as much as meat you want off in there and you can add as less. It don't make no difference. I mean, it's full for the small one. Thank you. Oh, I didn't know we were going to bake this. Yeah. Oh. Okay, I'm going to add my sour cream on here. Like right off in the middle. Add my onion chives. And some bacon bits. That's great. 
Okay, <laughs> there you go. And I'm just gonna start. Okay, so I'm gonna take my cheese. If I can open it. <laughs> Struggle problems. And just sprinkle it over. And the same thing, you can add as much or less you want. Is this your recipe or? This is my recipe. That looks like it needs to go off in a freaking restaurant, Mama. Thank you. No joke. And I'm just going to add my chips around it. My God, that is so cool. Oh, it's so cute. And there you go. You got your little dip and, you know, your sides all together. So, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe at the bottom. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Yes, please. Show the tips. Okay. I'm sorry if I'm running away. Huh. I'm sorry if I'm running away. Thanks for watching.